Why are we drawn to the mountains? Though each of our reasons may vary, one thing is for sure. This is a powerful and high consequence environment. Every decision matters. From the automatic to those that occur in full focus, there are no random acts. This is a bold statement. It's both scary and empowering. It creates a direct link between the results we experience and the decisions we make. How many decisions do we make in a single day? 35,000. That amounts to around 18,000 in a typical work shift. Most of these 18,000 decisions are made without much conscious thought at all. We are creatures of habit. And conscious or not, we design our lives through the power of the decisions that we make. If we were more mindful of more of our decisions, we would have better results more often. So what does this have to do with snow sports? Well, the first thing is to say that in an environment that is so dynamic and changes so often, what worked yesterday may not be the best choice today. That's intimidating, but it's also empowering because we have more control over our own outcomes than we sometimes think. To illustrate this, let's break down the decision-making process into four steps. We'll start with choice. If we consider choice, the action, or what we do, we can say that this will lead to an outcome or a result. Accepting that there are no random acts, we can then say that everything starts with a choice. Acknowledging that we have the capacity to choose what we do is very powerful. So is being aware that we can use a mindful process to work through the information we receive. If choice is what we do, then decision making is the process of how and why that leads us to the best what. We can say everything starts with choice. Or better, say everything starts with the decision. If we view choice and decision making in this way, we see them as two separate things. Even though the timing between decision making and choice can be anywhere from instant to years in the making. The awareness of these two separate parts of the process gives us a much bigger sense of ownership over understanding why and how, and ultimately influence over what happens. So if we can agree this all starts with a decision, the question is, how do I make better decisions? Well, with so many decisions every day, about 18,000 of them ranging from very small to very significant, what we need is to become aware of what motivates or drives the decisions that we make. Why? So we can use a process to help us understand and prioritize how we can do this. This way, we have a consistent way to decide and perhaps recalibrate our habits. At work, the driving factors that influence all our decisions can be split into two pairings, safety and service, and self and others. These pairings can then combine to create four categories, safety of self, safety of others, service of others, service of self. At one level, we can look at these four categories through a primal lens of risk and reward. Within everything we do in life, we are always looking to minimize risk and maximize reward. We are constantly balancing the two. These factors are really interesting when you start to think about situations we experience at work. They fall into an ideal sequence of priorities from our perspective as leaders and employees in the workplace. The challenge is that they don't always align this way. If decisions are made with priorities out of sequence, we can experience conflicting values and make tactical choices that compromise safety and service. In other words, these are times when we just forget to be mindful. There are also some statements that become true when we apply this priority sequence. We put risk mitigation before service delivery. 
We will not put ourselves at undue risk just to help others. When risk is appropriate, enhancing the experience of others should often come before my own gratification. We take time in our day to make mindful moments that lead to good decisions. This last one is particularly important because if we take a second to be mindful, if we stop and use these priorities to think and assess our options, we gift ourselves the power to make better decisions. Let's look at this in the field and explore some examples. Running through this sequence, we can use a series of simple questions based around safety and service to assess a given option. You can see that before anything else, if a decision does not address the risks of physical and mental well-being of yourself or others, this creates an immediate call to action to either make it safe or to determine a different approach. It's amazing how often we overlook this by prioritizing service. Let's say you're rushing across an icy parking lot to avoid being late. Safety of self? Or taking your five-year-old class for the first chairlift ride 10 minutes before the end of the day? Safety of others. Notice the call out for mental well-being here as well as physical. Mental health is as important as physical health. You may feel safe and able physically, but unable to focus or be present mentally because of something that is affecting you that doesn't show on the outside. It's up to us to recognize this within ourselves and determine the impact it has on our ability to do what is being asked. Does how I'm feeling present a risk? If it does, this would be a great time to make a mindful moment and have a conversation with your supervisor or manager before moving forward. Sometimes we need to make decisions purely for safety reasons to minimize risk, but with little immediate enhancement to the experience. These might be necessary procedural tasks designed to protect the experience in the long run. Our challenge here is how do you make these seemingly mundane processes fun and engaging? Things like stopping regularly with your class to make sure everyone's there, or reviewing the responsibility code, or just waiting in order to maintain distance loading on the magic carpet. How can you add value here? Our mission is to deliver the experience of a lifetime. As a result, serving others comes right after being safe. This is what we do best and a big reason we're here in the first place. If it's safe for you, safe for others, and has a positive impact, it's a good decision. The best decisions are those which also draw value for you. We are all drawn to the mountains for different reasons. We all want to have fun at work and go home safe at the end of the day. This simple decision-making sequence helps us prioritize to make more mindful moments during our day, to stop and think about our options, and to give us the power to make the best decisions. Please, be safe, serve others, and have fun.